banning FD. You would have banned FD? Yes. Uh, they're probably going to go FD, it looks like. Um, they did not ban FD whatsoever, and that's going to leave them completely open. Yeah, and guess what they're going to Yeah, win. I kind of uh, agree with that. Uh, Peach Diddy is not the best matchup, I'll tell you from perspective. But Greninja does very well on FD, so I can understand that. But Double Diddy looks pretty tough. All right, getting into our second set of the day for doubles. We got Laid and, uh, yeah, we got Laid and Entars versus MGW and Anita. And we're starting off on FD, just to give you a recap of Yahoo, who just weren't paying attention or just, just showed up. We're gonna see a little combo right here. Oh, yeah. Diddy's oh, yeah. crazy. I think Diddy Kong works really well in doubles because he's literally a neutral controlling character. Yes. He puts in no effort to do what he needs to do. And two of them will definitely make this much harder. Look at that double fair. Yeah, like, yeah. Also, two of those fairs, let's, we all know that Diddy Kong's fair is very very oppressive and very like superior to a lot of moves. Like right there. Yeah. yeah. Diddy's fair honestly can shut down a lot of the lower tier characters. <laughs> yeah. And Tarps is definitely about an SD there and he realized he went high. Good job on his uh, understanding. And right now Red Team's kind of getting slapped. Yeah. Diddy Kong is just like a character who can very oppress your opponents. Yes. He doesn't have the fastest hitboxes but he has the optimal one. Exactly. And he has a lot of like with FD being a, a very neutral controlling stage and double banana it's going to yeah. look really tough. He just killed with down air. air. Oh my god, he could attack that. That's uh, just to save embarrassment. Not an ultimate. Oh my god, yeah, it's insane. It's not yeah. really a thing. This is a very oppressive play coming in here from Antarps and uh, from Antarps and uh, Kool Aid right now. But I mean, even though they've been doing a lot of work, Diddy Kong doesn't do the most damage, and Peach and Greninja relatively do. So yeah, they're they actually not that far behind. They just need to clear out the stops. This is the part where I actually say that Ooh. Greninja and Peach might struggle with getting that kill. If they are able to manage to get these kills relatively early, but she doesn't look like they're doing a great job. They're taking too much damage. That was a beautiful up smash. But we are going to get one. That's important. Oh, that yeah. was really good on Amiibo trying to go for the fair, but Entarp's not dealing with any of that. He's going to fair him out. Yeah, man. Ooh. That's yeah, so oppressive. And on FD, this is just not the stage to go up the ass. Ooh, Kool-Aid wanted to get a little advice. extreme. Yeah, it's oh, definitely Kool-Aid. Uh, yeah, no, I hate that. Oh, my god. OK, so you're in the grab no combo, game. yeah. Yeah, Red Team's having a very hard time getting they're trying to arms. Like, they're trying to, like, Put, like, put their feet on the ground, but they just can't. Mm -hmm. They're just all over the place. Diddy Kong's a very wild. He's legit a monkey in this. Yeah. yeah. It's he really hard to get down, especially as Peach. Yeah. Um, it does not look easy for Amiibo whatsoever. Yeah, he's just, he's making, like, it's like tripping over your own buttons when playing two Diddy Kongs that are so impressive. Yeah. But, and look at that grab. Diddy Kong's grab is so hard to punish. Ooh, good little oh uh, sandwich God. right there. Yeah, and look at her percent. 46. Nice forward smash, though. Yeah, MGW. Get out of here, man. Yeah. Uh, MG MGW still with two stocks and taking out two stocks. Now tied in stocks. If they can maintain this, I feel like MGW is trying to make a lot of clean plays. Yeah, right now they are sandwiching Amiibo yeah. very it's hard. It's good she that they're sandwiching good, Amiibo, Amiibo though, because Amiibo plays Peach, and that's a very hard character to hit if she's yeah. moving correctly. And I think she's doing that more right now. She just got hit, but by her partner. Unfortunately, MGW is gonna die right there. But if she can just set, like if she can just stop getting hit, like how she's been trying to do, MGW might be able to use her as bait. I like to think uh, Greninja's very box type of character in doubles, where he just like feeds off the fact that they're going after one person. Okay. I, um, right now, Amiibo's playing really, really well. Very she, evasive. Yeah, she's taking her time, and she's getting the little damage. Just Ooh, that was really good. That yeah. was a uh, auto-cancel Nair in the grab. Oh. That was a back throw. That might have actually killed, you too. think so? Man. Yeah, that is a very strong. Her ninja oh, is a uh, like, strong character. I know why she didn't do it, though. She did it to cover herself so she didn't die. Okay, fair it enough. It was definitely a good like decision. It was right better there. at the end. Now, if we can if we can get a, a quick stock from Kool-Aid, oh this, my god, yeah, they, Red Team is playing a lot better. At the end beautiful of this. up smash coming from MGW. Right. He's really trying. To, and beautiful fair, and that's an up smash. This play. just became. Oh. oh my god! Okay. I think that was bad DI because it's really hard to kill with Diddy Kong's up smash with zero percent. I will say, I was just talking to Amiibo probably like last week. How much better she has gotten as a competitor, and. If, if we could see her make some moves right here against Kool-Aid's Diddy, she's moving. She's not scared right now. Yeah, but um, Kool-Aid, the fundamental genius in New England. You're not uh, wrong. Definitely not going to let that happen. He's playing very Diddy Kong-esque. Yeah, and go. what I mean by Diddy Kong-esque is down to nothing, no okay. option that I'm going to throw out is a bad option. This is going to be very safe. Okay, so like I want to talk about how perfectly they played that at the end. If they were to play that kind of if, play style. If MGW did not get up smash at the ending, that, we would, saw that was so doable. We could have saw a very, very different game. 
Um, yeah, a very different ending. That was really nice by both of them. I think uh, it looks like they're about to... Mm -hmm. No, they're switching. Kool-Aid. Uh, I like this because I think they're switching because these, oh. these two actually have like a lot of characters. We both know that. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of characters that they can play. They're very good at that. Um, and it's just like... Not even if they aren't switching to throw their opponent off, it does throw their opponent off because they were, like, they were catching on. Like uh, Anita, Amoeba, my bad, and MGW were definitely catching on towards the end of that. Yeah, you, you saw a lot of better teamwork coming in from them. You saw Amoeba's survivability skyrocketing at the end. She was not letting go of that last stock, and um, I guess we just have to see how they're going to adapt to this situation. They're they're not going back to FD. We already see that now. Um, where would you go in this situation? Zero suit, Diddy Kong. Uh, that's probably what the yeah. Uh, I town? I knew they were gonna go town, which is probably why Kool Aid switched. You pick this. You pick. Uh, usually, I don't know if they did it. You it usually like you it. usually pick your uh, stage before picking your character. They looked. They look like they just picked her already. Yeah, like they look like they took their time. I, I think this supports them though. It was either town or smash though. I feel like that's the reason Lade went ZSS though, because Lade knew that the best stage to go versus the two characters, like versus the double Diddy Kong, yeah. was town. But so he was just like, you know, just in case. Now, you saw before uh, Amoeba tried to, Ooh, I like that little footstool right there, getting the up air. Um, Amoeba actually back through into MGW this time, but... I think he uppered his partner, what you're talking about, by the way. Say it again? He uppered his partner, I'm pretty sure, what you're talking about. Oh, he about. did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is already a much even, more even game. I think they got... They're not tripping over their buttons anymore. Yes. I like using that phrase. That... Oh, my God. That was bad play on MGW, if you ask me. He could have just waited for... Uh, for uh, late the fall and then up smash. Yeah, red team's doing a lot better on controlling the stage yeah. and sandwiching the players when necessary. I like what people was going for there, but she missed. It you see what I mean? Like by Greninja being a lot like Fox and Bevels, like he's just punishing everything. Yeah. Like he's, and, like, he's gonna side be out of that. Oh, you can side be at the last hit. I did not know. Yeah. Like he is definitely like he's being the playmaker right now. That's gonna kill him though. Ah, but that's what happens when you're. That's what happens when, oh my god, that could have been could, Yeah, that could have been really yeah. interesting. Like, he's dying, but that's what happens when, like, you have to, like, go for all these risky options. That's that's what playing this character is. And right now, we see that, like, we saw this from last game, that blue team gets this little lead, and they make the best of it. They yeah. aren't getting killed. Ooh. Beautiful forward smash. Very Smash 4-esque, by the way, when uh, what you're talking about. A lot of, like... At a top level, I feel like a lot of players, oh, that could be bad. A lot of players are just like very close to whoever they're playing until the stock's gone. And then that's when they start to like, uh, that's when they start to build Hunker their down. lead. Yeah, that's when they start to build their lead, which is exactly what's going on right here. That Diddy Kong needs to die if yeah, they're going to make this lead. Yeah, 172. Okay, Greninja. <laughs> but I mean, if anyone's alive, I guess you wouldn't want it to be ZSS. Up, oh, yep. Really good uh, uh, option by MGW. Yeah. Kool-Aid's being very greedy. You think so? Yeah. I feel like they're not respecting red team. No, not at all. And that's giving red team that's the That's a advantage. down smash. That was, no, that was a good play. He couldn't forward smash and he couldn't, uh, he couldn't forward smash because he could side B out of that and yeah. he couldn't up B. <gasps> Dine at 58! That was a beautiful play. Oh, that, that was, was so amazing from, from Amoeba. And MGW is going to be losing the stock. A little less bad yeah, though. Right? Ooh, that that could have killed. Been, that that could have killed. Changed the yeah, entire now match. Anita is making, Abiba is making the big boy plays right now. <laughs> Stop. We have, uh, <laughs> we have some technical yeah. difficulties. Yeah, making the big boy plays right now. Really racking up the damage. And I think she's doing, like, I felt like she stopped doing it at the beginning of this game. She's back to being very evasive again. But she, like, that's the thing about uh, Peach. When she's evasive, she also gets the relatively hard punishes. If she could stay alive just for a little longer. That might that stock, stock might like that stock might belong to uh, MGW, MGW to be honest. With that that would be like the most optimal situation that we're not gonna see that. But then again, you're not <laughs> you can't like it's just not optimal to like live right there. It's not possible. That's death. That was a soft that was a love tap. And we saw this game, like I said, becoming very close. But as it continued, it turned out to be just a slow, slow snowball um, coming in from blue team, and now they have a very, very good lead. Oh, I think that was death, by the way. That could have been. I think so. I think he wanted just the style. He has he has the time, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, he has four minutes. I know that you don't, though. <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> Down it. He's about to let Trump, yep. 
Wow, so predictable. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that you figured that one out. Yeah, this is looking really hard for Amiibo. I don't know if, if she's going to even be able to Peach, I think, is one of the best doubles characters. So, uh, she definitely is. Yeah, so like him. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, this has been light underscore. Uh, this has been the flea. Uh, <laughs> and I got to go play my match right now. If they let me back on, I will be glad to commentate with you again. It's been pretty fun. It's been good, man. Yeah, man. Good luck. Boys. Now I'm going to find a... Uh